Okay, we're back. So this is going to be part two. Uh, we're going to be working on that beach ball right there. But I'm in my garage and we can't uh, have my car in here. So we are going to remove the car, uh, the Alpha 4C. We're going to take that outside, open the garage door. We don't want to get paint all over it, do we? Get it out of here. I don't know if you can still hear me or not. This will be a good test for the microphone. Plug your ears. Okay, it's outside, come back in, close the door, and uh, get going on that beach ball. Gotta mix some paint, and all like that. We just close the door here. There we go, door's closing. Bye bye car. You don't wanna get paint on you. So anyway, there's the beach ball. So, Get going on it. We don't need this in the way. Move that out of here. That's gone. So we're going to be painting. Um, what color was it now? Hang on. Uh, we're going to do red on one, teal, and yellow, I believe. So let me grab my colors. I'll be over here. You can still hear me, I'm sure. Here's my yellow. Uh, I need red, here's red, and I also said teal, where's the teal, looking for the teal, haven't found it yet, uh, not a big deal, oh here it is, teal, teal, three colors, why don't I, move the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing rather than just uh, gabbing away here. So I am now over here at my little mixing bench with my three colors. Oh, before I start painting, I better check and make sure that the PO says what I think it says. And that being Red, yellow, and teal. Where are you? So, uh, white. Hang on. Red, yellow, teal. Okay, good to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to paint yellow first. Because red is a stronger color, so I don't really have to clean the gun. I just have to pour all the paint that's remaining in the cup out and then uh, I can pretty much throw the red in there. I mean, granted it may go a little orangey, but it's going to be two coats. By the time the orange has shot through the gun, I'll be dealing with straight red after that. So my gun, where are you? My gun is my gun. My God, where's my gun? Oh, here. <laughs> uh, I'm using an Iwata. It's an LPH-80. It's really good for small jobs like this. Also, clear coating. I actually have clear coated larger items like that beach ball. Uh, I think I even clear coated the wheels on my uh, Alpha. I painted those a copper color. And I think I used that gun for the whole thing. So I need uh, mixing cups. And I need reducer, so reducer is, where is it? Down here. I got stuff all over the place. I don't have a whole lot of room in this garage. Wax and grease remover, that isn't it. That isn't it. Oh. Uh-oh. Do I not have any reducer? Actually, I think I've already reduced that paint anyway. So I think I'm okay but I'm not showing any reducer. Huh, 
doesn't look like I actually have any. But that's okay, because I'm pretty sure this paint that's in these little bottles have already been reduced, because I mixed up a bunch for the last job I did. I did a really big beach ball. It was like 36 inches in diameter, so I think that's what's left over. So, I will just pour some in here. Yeah, it looks pretty thin. And take two coats. I don't need a whole lot of paint. About that much. So what I'm going to do, i get my compressor line. And, oh, I'm going to have to turn the compressor on, so excuse the noise. A little bit of noise from the compressor. And bring this over to here. That's good. Now I need my regulator, which is here. Put that on the gun. It's on the gun. And I use a filter. I always filter the paint before I use it. Even though it comes directly out of the can, there shouldn't be any issue with it. But we filter it anyway. Okay. There we go. I don't know why paint was leaking out of it, but anyway, there's that. Got a paper towel. I will put on some gloves. And I will also get my mask out. There's some gloves. My mask is there. One glove, another glove. Mask, put that on now. Um, here. Now, I don't know if you're going to hear me with this on. I'm just going to keep talking. Hopefully you can still hear me. Sound might be muffled. But we'll see. Should be okay. We'll find out. Either this whole video is going to be a terrible sound, or it actually works. Got right in there. There's my paint. Check my pressure. I only want about 23 pounds at the gun. So there's that. I'm going to move that camera now over there. There we go. Uh, I do have to mask off the other side of the bowl. What should I use? What should I use? I'll use... I'll use this paper. This is that other paper I was talking about that I could have masked the bowl off with. So I'm going to mask off two of the colors that don't get paint on it right now. So when I'm painting the yellow, I'm not getting it off everywhere. So let's do that. Just cover that. Bear with me here. I know this part's probably really boring, but I don't have an editor yet, a video editor um, program. I'm thinking about using Filmora, but if anybody has a better idea, um, I would uh, appreciate any input, but I think Filmora seems to be pretty good as a video editor. I had a look at the... Uh, the uh, free version that you can use kind of gives you an idea of whether or not it's what you want and it seems to be okay so I may just go ahead and download the 
full version. So, but yeah, so like what I was getting at is uh, I'm doing this all in like one shot, basically, aside from the previous video. So like two parts. Because like I say, I don't have a video editor, so I can't just piece everything together in the editor and then just run it as one continuous video. So I don't have that capability. So that should do it. I'm going to put some tape all the way around. Because again, I don't want paint going underneath. There. So I'm just painting this one section. And this should... And then I gotta move it when I go to paint the other sections. I have to move it, I guess, twice, I believe, or so. So yeah. Now I need some final wipe. Which is, oh, I got some in a spray bottle somewhere. Here it is. Spray bottle. So I'll put this on here. Wipe that down. Gets all the greasy fingerprints off and like I say any other contaminants that might be on it. I gotta put some more paper under there. It's not quite covered. So don't be rushed when you're doing this setup stage. You don't want to have to redo anything. That's a pain. So, just needed a bit more paper. I could still see an area that would have gotten paint on it. And it would have caused a bit of a delay in getting this done. So I'd probably have to unmask the whole ball. Determine what has to be done to fix it. And then fix it. And then hope that you don't get, whoops, another issue uh, while you're fixing that one. And it just kind of snowballs from there. Done that before too. That isn't good. So anyway, take your time. I'm rushing it a bit. I don't know why. I got freaking all day to do this. It's about 5.30 in the evening right now. There, I think that... I think that's got it. And then I just run my finger down the original blue tape line just to make sure it's stuck really well. Because you don't want any paint seeping underneath. Like I say, that just creates a little bit more work later. And if you can just peel the tape and you're done, that's awesome. Okay. One last look to make sure Everything got masked and I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get paint everywhere. One little spot. I don't know if I sound like Darth Vader in here. It kinda feels like it. Anyway. I think that's it. Paint time. Paint's in the gun. I think the pressure was good. Let's check it again. I have a little digital readout on mine, which is really cool for what I'm doing my airbrushing, because then I can just dial in right up to like a half a pound of pressure. Okay, yellow going on. Here we go, one coat. One. Oops, oops, a bit. There. That's it. That's one coat. Now we gotta let it sit. Probably, I don't know, 15 minutes. Jesus. And uh, I'll come, I just knocked my gun over. Um, might have to do this in a bunch of different parts. Anyway, that's part two. I'll do another coat. Just give me a sec here. I'm going to stop. Come back with part three in the second coat.